morning everybody back here on the Ravana River last day of our vacation up here in the mountains near Charlottesville and I'm gonna try to get another solid few hours in here before we have to pack up and head out so I'm gonna do something a little bit different this morning a few videos ago I basically just crushed fish for like four or five hours straight using uh, weightless Senkos which is just stick worms that you know float and have tons of action on that so I still have a bunch of those with me but I'm gonna try something a little different I have started using this little ultralight rod in real combo that belonged to my grandfather just a real lightweight I think it's a six foot uh, or it's a six six foot six inch uh, ultralight rod with a micro light uh, reel on it or super light rather so real small setup it's been a lot of fun in some small rivers lately both back home and here and you can even see like how the size of the popper that's on here is very small compared to most of the bigger stuff that I'm generally throwing out of my boat for bass and everything in this tackle box used to belong to my grandfather with the exception of this some hooks and stuff here got a bunch of rooster tails and a few micro cranks a little grass classic rebel grasshopper um, little tiny uh, rapala floating jerk bait uh, I've had some luck with this so far on both this trip and back home in the James River so what I want to try to do is just basically tie a lure on which I've already got that popper on for now I've already got that popper on for now and I'm gonna just fish with my grandfather's rod and reel and a bunch of his lures and see how many bass I can catch on all this stuff. Once I catch something, it'll get cut off. It'll go in the big slot here and that way I can keep track of what I've caught with because hopefully I go through a bunch of this stuff and we'll see. I don't know that I've ever caught a fish on a rooster tail, but I also don't throw them very much. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Hopefully this is, ends up being a fun little something different. So let's get into it. First fish of the morning. Nice little bluegill. That is not what we're after. Gosh dang. Bye Taylor, have fun fishing. Bye. You didn't tell me you have fun. Oh, have fun. I mean, I've caught like five fish while we've been talking, so uh, have fun working, I guess. Weight-wise, does that put you on a tournament level? Well, considering I'm just throwing a tiny bait for it and fishing for bluegill right now, no, not really. 
But yeah. well, technically, I'm trying to get bass, but I'm also having fun catching okay. bluegills. Up your game, buddy. Yep. See ya. All right. Well, see ya. Oh, all right. Let's go. Finally got our bass. All right, bass on the grasshopper. That was sweet. We small fish were so much fun. He crushed it too. Well, that was fast. Back to back. He's just reeling this popper back in and homie just freaking yoinked it. That's one of the better ones I've got here. Look at that guy. Just came up and grabbed it two feet from the kayak. Love it. Well, I guess I found the spot. about these bluegill freaking love these rooster tails this guy freaking swallowed the dang hook You serious? Is that not recording? <laughs> oh, yes. That was awesome. I just watched him inhale this worm. That was so cool. I just watched this fish absolutely inhale that bubblegum pink fluke. That was super. That was so cool. Look 
this freaking toad of a bluegill. Beautiful, or sunfish. Orange belly sunfish, something like that. Back off the water now. Getting ready to get packed up and head back home. So these were the four lures that I ended up actually having success with uh, regarding catching bass. Started out with a uh, ye old grasshopper, little rebel, rebel crick hopper that I've been catching fish on since I was probably 10 years old. Uh, little small popper, I have no idea what brand this one is, but it's just a little small, small popper. Uh, those two were basically back to back or really quick together in the same spot and then this guy or well I don't remember which came first but just a five inch uh, dark blue Senko followed up immediately on the next cast with the bubblegum fluke and the sunlight is kind of washing this out but it is a much more bright and brilliant pink than it looks on camera I think and it had already uh it's got the blue line on it from where they were just sitting like this in a spot and it's the the blue from this worm has already kind of bled into the pink from that on that one. Did not have success on any of the rest of these. I threw some of the bigger rooster tails. Uh, this one I think I caught like eight or nine bluegill on just a little quarter ounce or sixteenth ounce actually rooster tail and so hey definitely caught some fish on this one but did not did not get what I wanted to. I don't think I had any bass going after the rooster tails, so I don't know, I'm sure you can catch bass on them. It just wasn't working for me with the, the fish in this little creek. Did not want rooster tails. They wanted worms or a little bit of topwater stuff. But that's it. I got a boat that I need to get packed up and a kayak that I need to strap down on top of the boat and then we're gonna start getting loaded up and headed home. So thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed to, you know, relatively similar fishing videos but hopefully there was enough different in this one that it's not uh too much of the same thing over and over again so headed back to richmond in a few hours and then we'll be back to work on renovation projects garden stuff who knows what all kinds of things happening around the bedfords so stay tuned see you guys next time